it ultimately comes down to a contest of what is governance. Who is governed? Which countries are governed well? And if so many of these countries around the world are incapable of governing themselves, then, then it's time for us to just put to just to, to put the imperial hat back on to say we're going to govern those countries if you're incapable of governing yourselves because enough is enough. We're done being invaded because our own national security risk is at stake. Exactly, national security interests are at stake. You can say that about pretty much all of Africa. They're incapable of governing themselves and benefiting their citizens because the governments there are all about looting and pillaging and lining their pockets and going shopping in Paris instead of actually right, hold making on a the second. country hold a better, on. People better on the left are going to watch this. They're going to say, wait a minute, Eric Prince is talking about being a colonialist again. Absolutely. Yes. Enough. Because I, you, if you go to these countries and you see how they suffer under absolutely corrupt, made-up governments that are just criminal syndicates, the people of Africa, the people of Latin America, a lot of them deserve better. Now, I was given a job as an economist at an international consulting firm in Boston with close ties to the NSA and the CIA. I was trained by a woman named Claudine Martin, whose job it was to train me to be an economic hitman. And then she told me what my job would entail. I would go to countries with resources our corporations covet, like oil. I'd arrange a huge loan to those countries from the World Bank or sister organizations, but the money wouldn't actually go to the country. It would go to our corporations, Bechtel, Halliburton, Brown and Root, familiar names, to build big infrastructure projects in those countries and incidentally make huge profits in the process. They'd build power plants and industrial parks, things that would benefit a few wealthy families in the country, the ones that own the industries. But the majority of the people would suffer. They would be left holding a huge debt they couldn't repay. So we go back and say, since you can't pay your debt, sell your resource, oil or whatever, real cheap to our corporations. Privatize. Sell your utilities, your schools, your jails, everything like that to our corporations. And Claudine also told me that if the leaders of these countries refused my offer, people she called jackals would be right behind me. I didn't actually carry a gun, but the jackals did.